Hi there, this is Janice and thank you so much for enrolling in the basic uh, InDesign mini course. I'm so happy to see you and thank you so much. Um, by the way, if you are a student and you probably already have noticed the uh, workbook and resources, um, the extra workbook and resources that I've created, um, and this is for those who are really wanting to hone in the basic skills that you've learned and and just really dive into InDesign. Uh, this is really good because from my experience, to be able to be good at something, you need to practice all over again and again to practice the skills that you've, you've learned. And, and that is why I came up with this. I thought, you know, maybe those people who really, really need the extra ha hand, extra help, if you use the workbook, you'll be able to go uh, along easily with the mini course. And then there's practice sheets, which uh, will sh I will get into more more in detail about uh, the practice sheets and what you will get inside. Before you bought this package, you will probably come into the sales page, okay? Currently, I'm giving about 83% off uh, from for my students. And if you happen to come across this video and you're still not a student of the mini course, only buy it when you're uh, basically your student because there's no point because this workbook is really mainly for those who take my mini InDesign course. Basically, you really need the course with the resources to work go, to go hand in hand. The purpose of this video is to show you um, what exactly you'll get behind these workbook and resources. I know everything is sort of like laid out in the sales page already, um, but there is only so much I can actually show you. I think if I were to go behind the scenes and let you see what exactly you're beginning, you will have a better understanding on uh, how this can actually help you. Okay, um, and if you have purchased purchased this workbook and resources, good on you because I think this is gonna really help you. Um, as mentioned before, the only way to get better at something is to keep practicing and practice and practice and practice and that you will get it. I promise you that, okay? And this basic skills, I know it's very basic, but you can do so much with it. And if you're still not using, if you're still not uh, really good at using the shortcut keys and everything like that, this package will really help you, all right? So let's show you right now on what you'll be getting in this package. So once you purchase these workbook and resources, I will basically give you a zip file of something like this, okay? Because I'm using, I'm not sure how to unzip, to be honest, I'm not so sure, you can Google it, okay? Because uh, I do not have a Mac, I have a PC, a Windows computer, so I usually um, right click and go to 7-zip, make sure that's installed on your computer and then go to extract files and click OK and once you've done that it will extract your folder and it will bring you up to this sort of uh, this folder like that right and then you just double click on it and it will bring you a list of a bunch of PDFs and folder and all this is where your files will reside so first things first, uh, make sure to read the terms and conditions. Basically, this tell you what you can and can't do with my InDesign files and, and templates. Uh, so please do read it. This text file, how to use this workbook and resources. Uh, you can double click it if you're not sure which one to uh, look at first. Okay, so the workbook is basically used with your mini course. Uh, and after that, I would really go to your checklist. Just follow the checklist um, and uh, you'll be fine, okay? The checklist will be, oh, I'll just delete this. Uh, the checklist will look something like this one here, okay? So there's a bunch of things, you know, install your fonts and all that. And before I get into the InDesign files and all that, uh, you will notice some of the, the fonts uh, in my uh, video course will be different from what you will get in this folder simply because when I created the, the, the course, I forgot that um, I wasn't really thinking about the resources, you see. 
and because I'm not a reseller of fonts, I can't use the fonts in the course to sell it to you guys. Okay, that wouldn't be right. I'll be going copyright issues and all that. So, so I had a, a solution by getting and downloading Google fonts to be used. So Google fonts are great because they can be used for anything you like. It can be used for commercial use or personal use. So it's great. Okay. And I did not put not I did not put the Google fonts in here uh, because it is in a way like I'm selling you the fonts if I put it in the folder. So I did not do that. Um, however, once you purchase and get in your login details, it will take you to a site to download your files, okay, your package. And there's another link that you can download your Google fonts, okay. I'll show you the five designs that you can redesign, all right. So there are practice sheets for you to to redesign and practice the tools that you've learned from my mini course so i'll just go ahead to to go up here which says five printable designs you can use for as reference or use this for personal use you can print out and write things down okay you can basically write you know write your own stuff okay you can use it if you like so here are the five designs this 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 is this is the design that I've done on the first um, in the in the course, and you notice the fonts a bit different. Okay, so the the Google Fonts folder that I ask you to download uh, will be one of these fonts. All right, so that when you open up your file, everything is uh, you won't find the, the document is missing some fonts and all that. So you want to really download the fonts first and then open your InDesign files. Okay, so. Um, so he, this is the second design you can redesign this is the third design all right and this is the fourth design and um, and this is the fifth design okay so this is the the design samples and then the checklist will you will look something like this okay the checklist and the cheat sheet Okay, this cheat sheet is uh, a bunch of shortcuts that you saw from my video course. So if you notice the little like caption, it tells you what to press and all that. So it, it gives you everything and more, I think much, much more insight here, you know, to, to really, uh, to really speed up your design. All right. So this is very valuable, very good to use. It's a great reference to have uh, print it out put it on your wall put it beside you whatever that is most comfortable for you um, this will really help you in your design okay so so that's the cheat sheet so the um, now for the checklist if you're not sure what to do always open the checklist first and it gives you a bunch of things to go through and it will just guide you on what you need to do okay so so that's the workbook to use with your mini course and then okay this is the practice sheets that i'm talking about um i'll just click on it right now and show you what they what they are so basically this is the five designs practice sheets um it will tell you a step-by-step -step guide on what you should do first okay just follow the steps and this is the color code guides okay so there's numbers and color codes okay whenever you see numbers one two three up to ten it just show you the different steps you should take so it's step one step two so follow that step that i'm showing you okay and the different colors will mean um uh, this belongs to lesson 3.1 which is to how to add text and all that that's uh, lesson the blue will be lesson 3.2 at how to add shapes and so on and so forth okay so for example number one okay number two three four five six seven okay just show you so you do your text first then do the shapes then do your images okay so four you can put after doing this, then you put the, the images on behind here. And the five, you do the lines. Six, you put another image here. And the seven is you, you focus on your website. So, and then if you let's say, uh, you notice some colors are the same, some colors are different. Uh, like, like there's, there's different numbers, but the same colors. So the three is uh, represent the... Um, 
uh, lesson 3.3 how to add images it just shows you go to lesson 3.3 to watch how to add images for this design okay um, and and yeah so the, you see the, the six is green four is green three is green so they are representing the uh, lesson that you can uh, refer to okay so all these are images all right so the second is also the same uh, so follow the follow the, the numberings are uh, one two you can do this together and then three the images and four the lines five is another image and six is your website so it's very simple but it's just all about practicing and show you it just show you how to design and how to to practice on uh, to use these tools in InDesign to create all right this is um, I know it looks like very very childish and all that right but it works I know it will work because it's very straightforward and you might be a seasoned designer already but you're wanting to um, to create it in design and this goal for this practice sheet is for you to practice uh, your skills or your tools using the basic tools in InDesign okay so the more you practice the better you'll get all right so I hope that will help okay so this is the same so and so forth so these are very beneficial um, to to get if you really want to hone in the skills okay so now I want to explain to you lastly about the different um, uh, the different files that you will get so the InDesign files basically I'm using the CC version right but some of you might have CS6 or CS5 or the older versions so if you have CC just click on this uh, basic InDesign sorry this file which has the CC in it okay so that's the uh, CC format and if you have older version you can use the CS4 version okay so basically these are the, these two this and this are the same design it's just a different um, format so for the template it's another different file in itself okay for example i'll go into the document right now this uh design file and i double click okay because my computer is a cc okay so we'll just zoom out we'll just zoom out okay control zero or command zero is to fit on screen okay so um, we'll go over preview to get a better resolution for my graphics. Okay, I'll just go up, go up, go up. Okay, so once you notice, if I open the file, the name itself will be the file that we've uh, just opened. All right, so it's a basic InDesign mini course, blah 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 blah. But uh, essentially, it's the same, and a template opening a template and opening a InDesign document is sort of like the same thing but it's also different uh, the difference is when you open a template I'll double click on it okay it will give you the same design as this one okay but the only difference is, is untitled like this is the original file that I've created right in the in the course and you don't want to use this file to create your redesign a new design you want to use a template okay because if let's say if something goes wrong you have you have no backup to go back to and that's where the template comes in so if i say okay i want to do this and i'm not I'm not happy with the design that I've created. I want to start again from scratch. Then I can go to my template and I double click again and it gives me another file. Okay, it gives me another file. So that is one of the reasons why I really enjoy using templates. The beauty of a template is you're able to design on a new InDesign file without touching the original template okay so i really encourage you to get the workbook and resources package as soon as you can it is currently on sale for my students for 80, 83 percent off i'll just show you the value of what you will be getting so these are listed as is and and i'm not joking i'm 
currently selling my InDesign template for $30 in my shop. So you are only getting all of these uh, for $21. Okay, it's a real value for your money. This pricing can change anytime. And so I really encourage you to get it as soon as possible um, because I can't promise you that it will be this low again. And um, and I really do encourage you to get this uh, wonderful package because I believe that it will really, really help you in honing your skills, the skills that you've learned in my mini course, as well as it gives you the confidence to use InDesign breezily for the projects that you love. Having this skill is invaluable and these are the resources to help you get where you want to be. So I'll talk soon and I hope you get this uh, package as soon as you can. Bye for now.